really a delight to be here um, wearing sort of both my hats as an individual uh, state senator for Boston and as education chair uh, for the Senate, uh, you know, wearing my hat of uh, trying to make good policy statewide. And, you know, wearing the first one, being a Boston senator, I'm just bubbling over with pride. You know, so many of the providers in my district are here today. Um, Ellis, Page, the Boys and Girls Club, Kawhi, uh, just so, so proud uh, that you guys have put forth this quality model and stepped up to the plate to put this uh, federal grant into action. And then, as the commissioner referenced, uh, it's auspicious timing that we should be here um, for this tour today, coming right on the heels of the hearing that we had in the legislature yesterday on what should, what do we need to be doing uh, statewide in terms of policy on early education and care. We are uh, 20 years plus out from uh, the, the education reform wave of the early 90s. And we have made tremendous, tremendous gains as a state. We have a lot to be proud of. We boast a public education system that consistently tops uh, the rankings nationally uh, for quality and achievement here in Massachusetts. But we know that um, we still face very persistent achievement gaps um, that are dogging us as a state. We've figured out how to achieve really high highs, but we have not figured out yet how to make sure that those high levels of achievement are reaching every pocket of population and all of our children in the state. And so that's the great undone work of education reform. And we know from study upon study upon study, and I would add to that the experience of individual parents on a daily basis, that the single most effective, impactful, and cost-effective thing that we have in our toolbox to close that persistent achievement gap that still dogs us is high quality early education. And the providers that you see here behind me today are living proof of that. And we're so thankful and we hope that you will show us the way um, as a state so that down the road we can make this, and hopefully not too far down the road, we can make uh, the quality of care that you're delivering to your four year olds in your classrooms today a reality for every child across the Commonwealth so that we can truly have universal access to high quality early education. So thank you so much and keep up with the work.